I would say there's an artist inside everyone, whether that's paint or that's music or something. But I think that everyone has their different kind of art and something that like just drives them. I love playing soccer and it's like one of the biggest passions of my life, but that's a part of it. And then off the field is this other person. That really is the chance for me to express myself, whether it be clothes or what I do with my spare time. Being yourself is the most important thing. That's kind of what makes us so special. Growing up in a big family, I don't ever remember having these conversations where they really, you know, implemented, oh, it's good to be authentic, you should always have self-expression, but they let us do that. Authentic to me just means being who you are for, for whatever you are. Um, and I think it's been something interesting that I've had to, I guess, kind of grow in and think more about now that I'm like in more of a public eye, I guess, because it's, you know, for me, being authentic just means doing what you want for you and not necessarily doing things differently just to be different. I don't, I don't feel like I do things just for the sake of being different. If, if I'm doing something that's different, it's because I want to be doing that, whether people are kind of watching or not. So it was sort of like a, you know, a, a kind of ground rule that was already in our house. If we wanted to wear something different or if we wanted to do something different, it was like, okay, you know? And I think growing up in a big family, my parents were kind of like, okay, whatever, we don't have the time to like be dealing with everybody, you know, wanting to do different things. If you guys want to do that, that's fine. We just have to be out of the house in five minutes. I think that I've been around enough, you know, families now or people now or friends that don't have a big family and I understand that it's different. It's fun in so many ways because you have so many different personalities and it's kind of, you're competing in ways for, for attention, especially me being the baby. Um, I think I, I, I felt that I always, you know, had to compete for attention, but then it's within this big scheme of, of a loving family as well. And um, our family's very open and, you know, tons of banter between everyone. So it was kind of a, a fun, loving sort of, you know, free sort of environment. I didn't really think about sexuality growing up. As soon as I figured out that I was gay in college, then it was kind of like any sort of restriction on that was not acceptable to me. I don't think that my public figure was ever a hindrance. And I think female athletes feel that a lot. I think if you sort of look gayish, then it's easier to come out, but then what if you don't? But I also feel like I fit into you know, society's like nice construct of an out gay athlete because I like look kind of gay, whatever gay means, you know. And I think that some athletes, male and female, um, do feel that. Like I'm gay, but I don't necessarily look how all of the other gay athletes look that are out. So then where is my place in this and what does that mean? And, you know, am I going to lose sponsorship over this or that? I felt like me coming out was was not really a big sort of departure from the me that everyone knew anyways and sponsors were already, you know, liking or whatever the public eye was. Eventually when I came to the decision and kind of the thought process of coming out publicly, it was like, this feels like a restriction. This feels like I'm, I'm doing something that I wouldn't normally do or I'm, you know, talking to the media about just something normal and then it's in my head like oh I have to not say this or getting questions about you know LGBT fans and like what that means and then having to kind of like phrase my answer in a certain way so eventually it did it did kind of come down to that it's just this feels weird not being out I think when you're hiding some part of you or not fully letting some part of you whatever that may be out then then you're hindering yourself I'm gay and I'm totally cool with that. I'm just a human being also that, you know, has this particular job and there's, you know, 90% of the day that I'm, I'm not on the field and not in that sort of soccer environment. So for me, it's, a, it's kind of about like my whole holistic self um, and, and making sure that I take care of all of that, not just what I take care of on the field. Music has been a part of my life since I was little. I learned to play guitar at a young age. Even just playing for 10 or 15 minutes sometimes just allows me to kind of block everything else out and have this escape when sometimes I don't know, you know, the words to say. Whether in training or in games, like, I'll find myself singing songs on the field or like singing a verse of a song. I 
think I have a real like emotional tie to music and it, it kind of like calms me and sort of keeps me kind of in the moment. As long as I can remember, I was always, you know, interested in style or tying different bracelets on or wearing rings or whatever. Beginning of 2011 or sort of like, maybe like March, I was like, I think I'm gonna bleach my hair. My mom hated it at first. She was like, that's the worst thing you've ever done. And then she's backtracked since then, big time. Well, I think my distinctive style, kind of going back to what I said earlier, it, it really is for me. Like, I don't, I don't go to a store and say, oh, no one would ever wear that, so I'll wear it, and then it'll be different. It's kind of like, some things I wear, everybody wears, and some things I wear, nobody wears. I guess in a way, it's like I want, that's how I want to be seen, or what I'm comfortable in, or, or something that's um, sort of pushing limits, but it's it's always for me, because some things I wear, like, everybody hates it, and I'm like, I don't care, I love it, and it's wild, or it's weird, but I love it. And then some things that, you know, I probably should wear more because it's popular, I don't, I guess. It's, it's really about me and what I feel comfortable in. It's a chance for me to express myself, and when I walk out, I'm like, yeah, I look good. Why is it important to be yourself? Because that's what you are. Nobody can take that away from you, you know? My mom grew up, like, super poor, and she was... You know, she like got made fun of for having like holes in her jeans or whatever, and you just like never know what. Jeez. I've had so many kids who have like come up to me and just been like, been bullied in school or I just feel different. And it, it's cool to be different. I think it's it's hard being a kid, and but like hold on to that uniqueness. Cause when you grow up, like you can't just be like everyone else. If you can really know that about yourself, that's what's gonna make each individual person the absolute best that they can be.